Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this sponsored tutorial, I'll be showing you a free translation plugin for WordPress called Convey This. Alright, so before we dive in, I just wanted to cover a few quick reasons here of why translating your website is necessary for almost every online business. So your customers are going to feel much more comfortable making purchases in their own language because it's easier for them to understand. There have been tests that have been done and studies where they've looked this up. And if you can understand the language and it's in your first language, you're going to be more comfortable at the checkout screen if you have an online product that you want to buy. Another thing is most internet users are not native English speakers. I know that every site that I make and tutorials I make are in English, but there are so many people out there that are not native English speakers, and it's the majority of the internet. So it also improves your multilingual SEO, which is a great thing to have as far as being able to outrank some of your competition for other countries or other languages, and it increases your traffic in new untapped markets that you haven't been able to get into before. So there's a lot of reasons even besides these ones that I just gave, but I wanted to give you a quick idea of why it's important to have a translation plugin on your website. So right here in the description, it says the convey this WordPress translation plugin translates into 92 languages instantly. So if you were to just go to Google and put in convey this, you can find the plugin to download it. And right here, there's also going to be other tutorials. I'm going to go through the WordPress repository and I'm just going to show you in the back end of a website right here. So if we go over here, we can click add new for plugins and we're just simply going to type in convey this all one word and it should come up as the first one right here, convey this translate. Let's just install now and we can activate it. And right here will be brought to the screen and it will say convey this plugin installed, but not yet configured. You need to configure convey this plugin so we'll just go to configuration page right here and from here it's going to take us to a different area where we're going to need to actually click on convey this to get our api key so that's what's going to link our account to this site and be able to start the translation process so if we click on this we're going to be brought to this page where we can open up a free account i'm actually going to x out of this other one here and i'm just going to put in my basic information And from here, I'll just click I agree and I'll click register. So it says that an email has been sent to our address and we're going to need to confirm that. I've actually already done that. I'm going to just drag that over into this window here. And right here, it will say that you have the free forever plan and you can choose different plans based on your need. With this free plan, we get one language, 2,500 words translated and 10,000 monthly page views. You get a lot more as you go up into these other plans. And if you have a large business online, it could be a great thing to do because it could easily cover some of these costs associated with actually signing up for a bigger plan. I'm going to use the free forever one just to show you the ropes here. And it's great for you to be able to use a free plugin to get started and see if it's for you, especially if you have a small website, you might not need to even upgrade. So from here, let's go back over and we'll just select plan right here, this free plan. And I'm just going to click select plan again. And right here it says, congratulations, free is activated. Now we can go to the dashboard right here. Let's just click on that. And from here, I'm just going to click end tour for now. And right here we can actually go down and copy our API key. And once we copy that, we can go back over here and paste that in. And here we'll select the language that our website is currently in. So I'm going to put English and we can choose our target language. So my wife's from Brazil, so I'm just going to put Portuguese for her. And I'll do that here and I'll save the changes. Now, once we've done that, we actually already have our website set up. So it is ready to go. If we go over here to our website, let's go and visit it, open it in a new tab. And we can see that now we have down in the lower right corner, it says English. And if I want to, I can translate it to Portuguese right here on the spot. So it's pretty amazing. We're just going to wait for it to reload right here. And there it is. And now the site is in Portuguese. So I know right here, this is an easy one, but Casa is home and this is contact. So it's pretty easy to see some of them, but you can see right here, the whole site has just been translated to Portuguese. And if you wanted to, you can swap back to English. Now I'm going to leave it as Portuguese just for this example. So you can get the full effect here. 
But if we were to go back to the page, let's say you want to change some of the things. So we can go right here, it says show more options and we can change how it looks. So right here it says redirect visitors to translated pages automatically based on a browser setting. So if somebody from Brazil in this case is visiting the site, I might want this to automatically translate for them. And right here it says we can translate media, adopt images for specific language. Right now I have that on no, but you can change that if you want. SEO, so it has the href lang tags and this will be added to all pages automatically. Within a free version that's pretty crazy that they have this available because a lot of free plugins are going to allow you to basically improve your SEO for multilingual purposes just right in a free plugin. So if we go down here, languages in select box show. So that is basically what comes up. If there's going to be more than these two, it might show like five right here. So that's where that would be. And then right here it says picture, select the picture style. So we have rectangular flag. Let's just go circle flag. And you can see what it looks like right here with the preview. There's square flag right here, rectangle flag. I think rectangle looks the best for most cases. I really like to have at least a flag with it instead of without flag because you want to be able to show the visual. Now I know for something like Portuguese, Portugal obviously speaks Portuguese and so does Brazil. So it's a little tricky because then there's two different flags you can use for a language like Portuguese or English for that matter. So it's really up to you what you want to put there. You can do it without flag if you really want. But I think the visual helps people know that there's the option to translate it. Especially if you know your visitors are going to be primarily coming from another country as well. Like Brazil instead of Portugal in this case. So here we also can use display text, which is full text. We can see short text. We'll show you right here. And without text, I think you should at least have some text there. I'm going to leave it as full text. And here is position type. I like to have it as fixed, which is going to be on a certain position on the screen each time. And then that position is going to be the bottom right. If you wanted to, you could put top right, for example. And we'll just go down here and we'll just save this to show you what that would look like. If we go back over here, let's refresh it. And now it has it up at the top with Portuguese and English at the top. I think the lower right is where people's eyes are going to go to in most of these cases. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to put it at the bottom right here. Also, we can change the spacing if we need to for indentation. And we can add other languages here if we were on an upgraded plan. So that is a great option to have. One other thing I forgot to mention here is... You can also add it to your menu if you want to go to appearance and then menu right over here appearance menus you can add it to your menu for your website if you want it built right in to the menu right here instead of in the top or bottom of the site you can have it built right into the top of the menu so i'm going to just go and save these changes here and from here i'm going to go and see that you can actually edit your translation so you can find all translations in your account edit my translations so right here, let's go to my translations. And it says the number of words that we've used so far. So there's 319 words that have been translated over to Portuguese. Let's just go and click edit translations right here. And here you can search and it's going to give you a little tutorial here if you want. You can search through these and then you can translate them as needed. So you can go and if you know a specific word is not being translated properly, you can do that and make a custom translation if needed or use the machine translation. And then you can also use a pro translation so you can actually order professional translation to be done. So there's some pretty cool options right in here. If we go back over to the dashboard here, we can actually just go back one screen and I'm going to go back over to where it says WP Fundamentals. And I'm actually going to just go to where it says Visual Editor right here. And you can actually edit it on the site as needed. So it's pretty cool that you can do these edits right here on the site. And it's a great feature that they have built into the plugin for WordPress here. So there's a lot of great features like this built right into this plugin. And the best part is it's a free translation plugin for WordPress. So I hope this is what you were looking for. And I hope it helped you make your website multilingual here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress related videos. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.